All right, good morning. The date is October 30th, 2018. The time is 8.30. The chair does detect a quorum and will call to order the meeting of the Public Records Commission. Uh, first item of business approval of minutes from April 25th, 2018 meeting. I'm looking right at you, Eddie. You know I'm, I'm coming to you. So do you have anything? Uh, yes, Mr. Chairman, on page two, item 3G, at the end there, it says uh, to assist records officers in understand their responsibilities. If we could make that in understanding their okay. responsibilities, please. M missing an ING there. Yes, okay. sir. Anything else? Well, all right. So you've heard, that we'll accept that as a friendly amendment to the minutes. Chair would entertain a motion to approve the minutes properly moved, properly seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no, we'll take a vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed say no. All right, minutes are approved. Next, we have our consent agenda. Anything that needs to be removed from the consent agenda? All right, hearing none, chair entertain a motion. Properly moved, properly seconded. Any discussion? Hearing no, and I take a vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed say no. Consent agenda is approved. REAs for discussion? Mr. Callahan, we have none. All right, so seeing none, we will not discuss any. Next, we'll have the records management report. Mr. Callahan. Good morning, commissioners. Um, on the RDA development and review, we continue to meet and go over all submitted items. Uh, since 2013, the commission has uh, reviewed, created, revised, and retired 1,890 RDAs, uh, approximately um, 2010. Uh, on this agenda, <coughs> excuse me, uh, of the 169, 56 were retired, 78 revised, and 35 created. So with the task five years ago that the uh, commission gave us to go through all of the original 1,700 or so RDAs, the agencies have uh, reviewed those, those outstanding uh, should be on the next meeting. The, uh, usually they seem to be about um, checking items that are pending legislative change or having a legal issue that they're reviewing or an upcoming business change. So the agencies have, um, have done a good job in going through and updating and revising their RDAs. So we should uh, have that finished up. And it's now part of the Comptroller's Audit Division, regularly reviews these when they start their audit to see um, the status of all agency RDAs. For trainings, um, Records Management Division continues to meet with the agency so far, 2018. Our analysts have held 298 agency meetings. We've conducted 20 classes and workshops in 2018. The assessment project that we began approximately two years ago of going through every state agency and doing a physical check of the volume of records stored at the various departments. Uh, we are wrapping that up. There's only a couple of agencies to finish up in the next few months, and um, then we will be finished with this cycle. Um, part of an ongoing record, good records management program is you, you do that, and then Basically, after three to five years, you repeat to keep things on track. So there's a few other projects we're going to be working on this year, and then in 2020, we'll start at the beginning again. Now, if an agency sees a need and they ask us to come back and do one before then, we will, of course, oblige and come out and help them um, do so. So I feel that uh, looking at the numbers, uh, we've seen that uh, for the records holding reports help the agencies uh, get a better count of what they have. And as part of that, the records holding report was completed by all agencies um, on time this year. And uh, the overall result was a reduction of 31,000 cubic feet of records, dropping from approximately 390,000 to 360,000. This represents an 8% decrease. Uh, it's keeping up with destruction of records on time as well as conversion to electronic format. Um, so now keep in mind each year there are things that can come up. Um, litigation holds can kick in. Uh, we've got some major uh, 
agencies that have litigation holds this year. So next year we may see some variance on the records holding report or what's stored at Richard, um, the State Records Center. And that's the items for today. All right, Any Kevin, questions? thank you. A couple of thoughts. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you mind just mentioning briefly the best you can about the sale of Richards and Richards? Okay, so the, um, they just told me yesterday they're announcing it um, later this week that the Richards and Richards was bought by Vital Records Control, uh, VRC. Uh, VRC is a Memphis-based um, records management company. They um, operate approximately 20 uh, record storage uh, uh, locations around the, primarily the southeast. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're a regional power uh, in the industry. Um, they are following and will be completely honoring the uh, contract that we have in place with Richards & Richards. Uh, until 2021 at the end of that, in which case the state will um, put it out to bid. It's the usual process we'll look at doing. So that, um, that just came up uh, about three weeks ago. Uh, we were informed of that uh, as per. They notified us in writing and verbally. And uh, so we've reviewed and um, we're putting through a, um, an amendment because we have to change the name and uh, a couple of details on the contract. Okay. Also, I've asked Kevin, as we talk about budget going forward, as we have a, a change in the number of um, hard documents that we're storing at Richards and Richards and soon to be VRC, we also do a lot of work in helping agencies store their records electronically, but we have not figured out a way at this time, I've asked them to develop this, how, what's the appropriate way to charge those agencies for electronic storage and, and the con consultation we provide which would lessen the amount that we would be charging those who are store, um, storing the um, hard documents. Yes. So that, that's on our radar screen because we don't really think it's fair to spread the wealth only among those who are, have boxes of Richards and Richards and availing themselves of the service of the, the division. So anything you want to add on that? We're, we're looking at it similar to the records holding report of paper stored in agency. We charge a, a fraction of what it costs for Richards and Richards, and the volume represents the larger volume of records, the more time our agency analysts spend out there. So one of the things we're looking at is uh, electronic records. A gigabyte is a fraction. I mean, you could store 10, 20 boxes for the volume of a gigabyte. So it will not be the same rate per gigabyte as is per box, probably about a 20th or so. So we're, we're looking at that. And um, once again, we, we've asked um, STS to get, uh, provide us some updated volumes and such so that we can make sure that we have a, a fair thing and I'll um, let uh, Secretary Hargett know um, what we come up with. All right. Thank you, Mr. Callahan. Next on our agenda, we have the, um, the rules before us that we've, had, we've distributed before. You have them in your packet back here appropriately under the tab title, title rules. Um, any discussion on those? And I guess I would move we adopt the rules as presented probably moved properly seconded any discussion all right here none we'll vote mr Callan, you mind calling the roll for us yes, sir. commissioner andrews Aye. commissioner toplovich Aye. commissioner oglesby Aye. commissioner weeks Aye. commissioner debray Aye. chairman hargett uh, all right i do consider the rules adopted Thank you, Mr. Callahan. Any other discussion? We have old business, public questions. Anybody from the public wish to address the Public Records Commission? Not everybody at once. We can form a line if we need to. <laughs> Nobody. All right. I'd Mr. like to introduce. Not uh, you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Please, please go ahead, Mr. Callahan. I'd like to introduce a uh, newest member of our team, Mark Wilson, is our new analyst. No, Mark, you have to come up here so we can see you on camera and share a little bit. Uh, Mark's joined us um, just two months ago, mm -hmm. three months. I guess. Yeah. So he's already doing a great job. Look forward to working with you, Mark. Thank yeah. you very much Thank for being willing to work with us. Thank you. All right. Anything else? 
So our records officers, I know we had scheduled 8.30 to 9.30. You've been given a gift of time. If you go get something from Starbucks, nobody's going to tattle on you from up here, okay, unless, you're, unless your commissioner is watching video stream. So, <laughs> all right, thank you. I, I'll declare the meeting adjourned. Thank you very much.